All right, guys, welcome back to our uh, next topic for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last video. I'm gonna be doing the same kind of uh, method of just filming and you know, I'm gonna do a couple practice problems for you guys. Um, all right, our next topic is something that is important for Integrated Math 2. It is one of the foundational things that you guys will be learning this fall. Uh, polynomials. There are so there's so much work that we're, that we're going to be doing um, in Integrated Math 2 with polynomials. This is the very basic introduction to them. And the good news is, if you guys had success with last week's assignment, you're gonna have success with this one as well. It's just a little different. Okay. Notice there's no angles. There's no uh, geometry. This is kind of going back towards the algebra. Um, but yeah, here we go. So you might be asking to yourself, what is a polynomial? Well, a polynomial, poly means many. Okay, so uh, polynomial, nomial just means terms. So technically, polynomials are just many terms. If you look at this, uh, this six minus eight X in the parentheses right there, that, well, even though there's only two, it's still technically many. So this is many terms. And we have a six and a negative eight X. Those are not like terms, so we cannot combine them. So here we just have two terms. We also have two terms over here. So this is a polynomial plus another polynomial. You're like, oh my gosh, what is, what is this? What are we doing? So, all right, I'm gonna show you guys right here. So when we're adding any polynomials, really the key is you're looking at are we adding or subtracting? And you're also looking at combining like terms. As the basic adding and subtracting of polynomials, it is just glorified like terms. So here we go. Six minus eight X plus six X minus eight. All right, so I'm gonna identify the like terms. I have a six, where's my other constant, my other regular number? That is a negative eight. All right, so I'm gonna rewrite that. I'm just gonna bring down that six. That plus sign right there means that nothing changes in this parenthesis, nothing changes with these two terms. That is six plus a negative eight, which obviously can be rewritten as just six minus eight because those do not cancel out. Six minus eight equals negative two. All right. Those terms are done, and I always uh, recommend crossing out terms that are done uh, so you don't have to deal with them next. Our next terms with the variables, we have a negative 8x plus a 6x. All right, so I'm gonna write that down there. This is what I recommend you guys doing too uh, when you start your assignment. Negative 8x, well, that's a plus 6x. All right, well, we definitely know what that is, right? Negative eight plus six, well, that's a uh, negative two X. All right, and then I'm just gonna put these together. Obviously, our two answers, negative two and the negative two X are not like terms, so our final answer is negative two X minus two. Now, a lot of you might be asking, well, what if I put the negative two first? Guys, guess what? It's the same thing. If you put negative 2x minus 2, or if you just flip the terms, negative 2 minus 2x, it's the same thing. So either one is correct. All right. So when you're doing the assignment on quizzes, uh, the answers are, have no spaces. So for example, if you got negative 2x minus 2, for the answer, just literally type the minus sign negative 2x minus 2 no spaces. I also had it to where if you also put negative two minus two X, no spaces, either one, you'll get it correct. Okay. All right. Pretty simple. There's only five practice problems we're doing. So I'm going to move on to number two. Okay, here we go. We have another polynomial, a two term polynomial adding to another two term polynomial. Well, I'm going to be looking first at that plus sign right there. That plus means that the signs do not change. They stay the same. Our next question, you'll see where they do change. Okay, I'm gonna identify the like terms. I have a 5x and an 8x. So I just write out 5x plus 8x, because those are like terms. Well, here we go, five plus eight, that's easy. That's 13, 13x. 
cool. I'm going to cross those out because I'm done with them, right? I combined those like terms. Now my other ones are negative 3 plus a negative 2. So negative 3 plus a negative 2. Well, here we go again. The minus sign, you know, it, it, it does not cancel out. That plus basically just goes away. So it's negative 3 minus 2. It's the same thing. We keep going in the negative direction there. That is negative 5. And guess what? We just found our answer. It's a positive 13x minus 5. If you also put negative 5 plus 13x, because remember, that 13x is positive. So if you switch the terms, that negative sign goes with the 5. Well, that 13x is positive. That means we have to have a plus right there. So either one is correct. Once again, on your quizzes assignment, don't put any spaces or anything. Um, if this was one of the questions on your quizzes, you would literally just type out 13x minus 5, and then you will get it right. Okay, so the plus, when it's adding, it's pretty simple. I mean, you just look at the signs, they don't change, and then you just do the operation, and then boom, you have your answer. What if, we have three questions left, what if we have a minus sign? Uh-oh. So I'm gonna write it out kind of like how I've been doing, but basically, guys, the rule of thumb, if there is a minus sign right there, that means the signs change in the second parentheses. With that minus sign, don't think, oh, everything turns negative or everything turns positive. I'll show you guys uh, why that's not the case. It's just that this originally, if we look at this, it's originally a positive five. Well, that minus sign is gonna make it a negative five. That's originally a negative 3x. Well, that minus sign is going to make it a positive 3x. So, because technically, technically speaking, this goes all the way back to solvent equations, that minus 5 minus 3x, there is technically a negative 1 right there. So then if we were to do this, 5 minus 3x, if we were to distribute that negative, well, negative 1 times 5, that would be a negative 5. Negative 1 times negative 3x, two add negatives make a positive. So that's essentially why the signs change. All right, so let's work out the problem. I'll show you guys what I still recommend you guys doing. All right? Okay, we have our first polynomial. That's positive over here. These signs obviously don't change. There's no negative out in front. So I'm going to identify my 7x and my negative 3x. If you guys do it this way, I promise you, you'll, you'll be fine and you get it right. All right, I'm going to drop down my 7x. I'm going to have that minus sign right there. I'm going to put that minus sign right there. And then I have a negative 3x. Oh, look at that. What happens now when we have two negatives? That is when they cancel out and make a positive. But we already knew that because thinking that the minus sign changes the sign, see right there? Boom. We already knew that it was going to be a positive 3x. So we're basically like combining the two ideas. Either way that you do it, it will work um, if you do it correctly. Okay, so I have 7x, that stayed positive, that didn't change, minus a negative 3x, well, the two negatives make a positive, that is 10x. Cool, cross those out because I'm done with them. I don't want to mess with those anymore. Now I have a positive 6 minus, drop down the minus, a 5. Well, 6 minus 5 is 1. And we already knew that 5 was going to be negative because after we distributed that negative anyway, it was going to be a negative 5. And this right here is technically a negative 5. All right, so 6 minus 5 is 1. My final answer is 10x plus 1. Even though we subtracted 5, obviously our answer is a positive 1, so that's a plus 1. Or you could put 1 plus 10x because that 10x was originally positive anyway. Okay, so the minus sign changes the signs of, this, of whatever's in that second parenthesis, okay? All right, here we go. This one would do a little fast, all right? We have a minus sign right there, okay? Here we go. I'm going to do, do my, my consonants first, my constant numbers. So 7, I'm just going to drop down that minus sign. Where's my other like term? Uh, 2, okay? I'm going to drop down my 2. Well, 7 minus 2 is 5. Now, if we go back to our previous thought of that minus sign changing the signs of everything in there, if we think about it, originally it's a positive 2, but that minus sign changes the sign to make it a negative 2. That's why we subtract. Okay. 
boom, boom. Here we go, we have a negative 7x, so obviously that negative 7x doesn't change because you know it's originally a negative 7x, and there's, that's a positive out here, so it stays the same. Negative 7x, drop down my minus, negative 2x. Aha, here we go. Two negatives make a positive, which obviously makes sense because if we were to think originally this is negative, Minus sign changes the sign, so now it is a positive 2x. Either way works, okay? So negative 7x plus 2x is negative 5x. Sweet, we have our answers. Negative 5x plus 5. Negative 5x plus 5. Obviously, if you switch the terms, you get the same thing. 5, positive 5, minus 5x. Either way you put it is correct, okay? Hopefully you guys are getting the, the kind of the gist of it right there. We're just basic adding and subtracting polynomials. One more question for you guys. All right, we have 3 plus 6x minus 3 minus 8x. So let's uh, combine our like terms right there. 3 and 3. Here we go. 3, drop down the minus sign. 3, uh-oh, look at that. It's 0. That's okay. You're probably going to have a couple of questions to where the terms do just cancel out. That 3 minus 3 does equal 0. Okay, well, we're not going to really have to put anything there. So cross those out. Now I have a 6x. Drop that down there. Drop down the minus sign. And then I have a negative 8x. So if I drop that down, aha, there we go. Two negatives make a positive, which makes sense because that negative 8x because there's a minus sign out here, the sign is going to change. So then it's a positive 8x. 6x plus 8x equals 14x. So we have our answers, but I don't want you guys to do this. I don't want you to put 14x plus 0, even though technically that's right. Well, that plus 0, that nothing changes. If you add 0 to anything, it, it stays the same. So our final answer then is just 14x. So it is normal for you guys to get some terms that potentially cancel out. Okay, now those are the minus signs. Don't forget, you know, like we did on number one, the very beginning, if it's a plus, then the signs don't change. This was number one that we did. If it's a plus, that still stays a positive 6x. That negative 8 still stays a negative 8, all right? That's the, the biggest issue sometimes when adding and subtracting polynomials, so. Okay, I will have the assignment for you guys on quizzes. I really appreciate you guys' hard work. There are only three weeks left of school. And uh, even though technically we are still in school, there's only three weeks left. So, all right, miss you guys a lot.